whether it's appointments, rentals, hotels, whatever type of appointment booking website you want, I've used the top booking tools and this video is a brutally honest review and tutorial of using Amelia to do this. In just five minutes, I'll show you the best free and paid features of the plugin so you can decide if it's worth your time. To download Amelia, let's go to its website and click get started. You can choose from any of these plans, but if you want to try things out first, just download their trial plugin from here. I already have a pro account, so I'll click here. Now go back to Amelia's site, copy the code from here, come back to your WordPress dashboard. On the left side panel, go to Amelia, click on settings and go to activation settings. Just paste the code here and click on activate. Now, before we go ahead, we need to add this free plugin called Airlift. It's totally free and it makes sure that your site stays fast and doesn't lag when people are trying to make bookings. You can install it from airlift.net add your URL and it automatically optimizes your site and make it super fast. All right, let's come back and launch Amelia. This is our main dashboard and has all our booking settings. First, let's say you have multiple service providers like different barbers or gym trainers or whatever. To allow your users to choose between them, we have to add them as an employee. So click here, then click on add employee and fill in the details. Here, you can also automatically create a new WordPress user account for them instead of going and adding them manually every time from the WordPress dashboard. Next, I'm going to select the user email that's already there and fill in the rest of the details like this. There are also multiple options to customize your employees' day-to-day -day tasks. For example, you can adjust their work hours here and customize their days off like this. You can also add special days here. And when you're done, just click Save. In services, you can show the services and consultations offered by your company. Let's add one by going to service here and let's add a category like this. For example, spa. Now we can add a new service. So I'll add facials and select the category. Then pick the employee who will give that service. Now let's go to duration and pricing. We can set those up here as well as add buffer times between appointments. You can also add images or extra services from here. I'll add trial products, set the price and click save. Now to set up payments, let's go to settings and click the payment link option. Also check this on-site option and you're done. You can also add Zoom and other integration by clicking here. All right, let's say your customer places an appointment on a phone call. You can add that here by clicking on calendar, choosing a new appointment like this and clicking the create new button. Add your customer details here and click save. Now to set the appointment, we can select the category, then the service and then employee. I'll also add date, time and then hit save. Now you can see the appointment here on the calendar and your dashboard is also automatically updated. To create a coupon or discount code for your customers, go to finance. You can see the pending payment for the appointment that we just made. Just click on new coupon and add the discount code and percentage like this. Then select the usage limit and maximum usage per customer. I leave that as unlimited and add the expiration date and services like this. You can also create new notifications for your customers by going to the notification tab and clicking here. So whenever a customer sets an appointment, the plugin automatically sends them a notification. There's a bunch of templates that I can use here. And if you don't like them, then you can customize them by clicking here. There's also the SMS and WhatsApp notification service that you can use by clicking here. Now, let's see how to link payment gateways. Just click on settings at the bottom and select view payment settings. You can adjust the currency here and customize it on the left. I'll quickly adjust the other settings like this. And you can also link WooCommerce here. You can also add Stripe, PayPal and Razorpay and then click on save. You can add Zoom meetings integration to your site. For that, just click on view integrations, go to Zoom and fill in your account details. To customize your booking forms, scroll down, select customize 
and choose from the different form templates. So, for your customers to access this form, you need to create a booking page. For that, go to Pages, Add New Page, and here I'll add a title like this. Then, click on plus icon here. Type Amelia in search bar. Here it is. Select Amelia step-by-step -step booking. Let's click on publish. And from here, I'll view the page. And this is how your form would appear to your customers. Let me quickly fill all the details as a customer. And you can see that it gives me an option to add appointment to any of these calendars. You can also check the appointments that were booked on the calendar page from here. For example, when I click on month, you can see both the appointments that are booked for this. Or we can go to appointments to check them like this. Since it's set for one week, we can only see one appointment on the screen. So, what's my verdict? Amelia is quite good for beginners because it has a decent user interface and a robust feature set that can help most businesses. For some people though, the learning curve can be a tad steep and the pricing structure may not align with everyone's budget right out of the gate. So, give it a try and let me know if you like it. In this 3-minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.